hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you here today hope everybody is doing great and fine and today i want to prepare pork so i really don't know the name i'm going to give you but i will know it before the end of the video um but what i'm going to use for my pork today i have um let me say half red bell pepper i have my spring onions here and onions nicely chopped my spring onions was from the freezer the one i chopped and i preserve in the freezer i have lemon juice i have my mince up um spice i have my chili crushy pepper yeah i have my paprika i have a cumin I have a um, soy, uh, soy sauce. I have my curry sauce here. And here, there is a um, meat spice as well. It's a seasoned meat spice. I got it from Nigeria and it's very, very nice. So I'm going to add this one as well. I have my curry leaf. And I have my powder cinnamon so I'm going to use powder cinnamon as well um, I have a um, stock pot veg uh, vegetable stock pot so I'm using just one out of it and I have my pork here I've neutralized the salt from the pork so if you want to know how I neutralize my um, pork salt check my video you will see it there so i have my pork here as well and i have my seasoning so i need no salt and i have my vegetable oil i have my vegetable oil so i have my curry and thyme paste oh is going almost done i think i'm sleepy slip of tongue this is garlic and ginger paste and i have my black pepper here but they are seed i need to crunch them and this how i really don't want to make use of blender so this is how i'm crushing them i'm going to i've had some here already that I've started crushing I hold my knife at the bottom and at the tip, then I use it to cross, cross, run across my seed and don't bother, some of it will be splashing out but just be careful with it, it's going to, I really don't want to make it very smooth, I just want it crushed, so I have to put my hand like that so that I won't lose most of it as you can see I still have them I run over it with knife and I press it down so that's how I do my um, black pepper But if you want it smooth, not really, really smooth, I'm so sorry, that's my phone. So, but if you want it smoother down to be crushed, but not very, very smooth as powder, you can still do it, just be running your knife over it, like this. it's night I don't want to use the blender to wake the kids up so this is the best way I know I can do it almost of it have been crushed it's windy outside it's cold today very very cold 
just like and there is a store yesterday I thought all the floor is going to be full of ice so that everybody will stay indoor so you can see I think I'm, I'm okay like this. Can you see that I get it smooth with my knife? So I'll finish with that. I'm going to crush my, um, this is my um, curry leaf. So I'm going to take some out and I'm going to crush it just going to oh god it's so dry I'm going to I really want it if I use blend I'm going to blend all together but I'm not using blender so I have to do it the same way I did my black um, pepper seed so I really don't want it can see nicely chopped I'm going to mix it together with it so I'm going to take um, some of my um, crushed chili just I say oh no I like spicy food so I think that one is okay because I'm still going to use paprika and paprika too is um this is my paprika paprika too is is spicy so just use um as you like depends on you and this is my cumin so I'm going to take like one um teaspoon of cumin so i'm going to add my mix apps just one teaspoon as well and here my seasoning mix spice as well i'm going to add one teaspoon as well and um, my um, cinnamon I just want that smell so I'm going to add like one teaspoon to it as well so I'm going to be packing them away so that I can have space here so I'm going to chop my red bear pepper because I want um, that bright color on the dish so that's why I'm adding my red bear pepper So I'm going to be chopping it nicely.
very windy. So I'm going to be going it here. So I'm going to to chop my meat. So I'm just going to be chopping it into a nice cube. I'm not going to use all the meat. Okay, let me cut it. Just looking at it that the meat is too much, but hello guys. I think I'm going to leave this too because I have more than enough beef here already, and the curry I want to do is not much. So I'm going to be freezing the remaining beef or okay guys so this is my pork meat i'll finish it in this let me just and these are all my spice that i mix together the cumin the black pepper the curry leaf the cinnamon the crunch um chili everything and these are my um, onions and spring onions so i love this one because of splashing of oil so guys i have new frying pan uh it's okumbeng's um chinese new chinese okumbeng's um frying pan when you buy um three okumbens you get the frying pan so it's free so it's free pan and i've i think i've have it now for so long so long the other one that i'm using is the same okumbens and um, frying pan so well there's something in it so i have to go and bring this new one out So, so guys, I'm going to add my hoy. Just little. 
so i'm going to wait for it to get out a little bit okay guys i'm going to add my pork meat now it's going to flash all over <laughs> I'm going to put my spice. I'm not going to put any salt. So that the, the spice, the, the seasoning, I'm going to put my seasoning on my seasoning so that they can sink into it all together. So that they can infuse into the pork and the pork can be well seasoned i know um i've neutralized the salt in the pork but might not be whole hmm, nice smell i want to add my um onions now so that the seasoning can really work together. Oh my, this is nothing wants to go in. I'm going to add my um my stock my vegetable stock and I'm adding my soy sauce just little and I'm adding my garlic and ginger paste oh, I need to get another one Thank God I take away part of the meat. It's too much. It's ticking up already. So at this stage, I'm going to add my lemon just a little bit because I want that um, acidic taste in it. So, I'm just adding two cup of the this thing wow can you see i don't think i would need any season you can see that curry color because of the um what is it called the curry leaf that i had it into my cooking so at this stage i'm going to add i think it's going to need um salt but not much because hmm, no let me taste it again yeah i can taste that cake that cake i want i can taste it that cake before i had anything because I can feel that sweetness of the let's say I'm going to add my red bell pepper now my curry sauce go last you can see it's even thick so the curry sauce that I need not going to add much no I'm not going to add much see it's as thick as anything wow I love that So I have my water here. I'm going to um, add my curry sauce medium. I think this one too is spicy. I'm going to add some of this. See how it looks. 
that vibrant color so i need clean sponge i think i have so i'm going to take let me hold this i'm going to take one full spoon and another one making two i have i took the let me take my whisk So the spoon is not going to whisk it to mix it very well. So I have to use my whisk. You can see it mix very well with my whisk. So I'm going to pour it into my pot. So I'm pouring it into my pot of of my gas. Let me hold it back. me have to rinse my bowl okay guys as you can see my curry is getting taken I see that color that's the reason why I had um, the big red bell pepper I really don't want it to be blank I want to be seeing that colorful red green going in and out so uh, it have a nice taste so I end up not adding much of my seasoning here I just take pinch you see just pinch like that I had into pinch like that two times this then I had into and that is what I used okay guys I want to add one more um, spoon but if I add it it's going to form lumps and I don't want that so I'm going to put it in a bowl wow yeah I have just small water here yeah? And I'm going to use my whisk again, so it's faster than using spoon. I really want that one to go halfway. Then I will add my. So I'm adding this now. Can I see instantly? the moon change okay guys as you can see my curry oh i have a name finally my curry soup is done as you can see look at that look at that vibrant color look at that look at that it's spicy it's out there i can feel that Cake, which um which is the lemon that i added into it it gave me that perfect cake that i want it smells nice you have very nice aroma and um it look attractive <laughs> this is nice it's as good as everything you can eat it with rice, with um, with um, potato, it's anything of your choice anyway. So, okay guys, you can see my curry. Let me bring it close. Have you seen that color? It's not oily at all. I just use 
a little bit like one tablespoon of hoi to fry my meat to fry my meat and then um, I just put a little bit of parsley at the top for presentation anyway so you can see and I serve it with rice serve it with rice you can see so you can try your own curry you can add and subtract of what I've done um, thank you for listening thank you for watching and don't forget to like share subscribe and press that notification button so that you'll be the first person to get my video so that you're not going to miss any video house so thank you so much love you all bye enjoy